Hello and welcome to Eyemouth Harbour. There are some people on the other side here and you can get fish um, from that little white cabin behind them. And then if you look down here, there is a big beautiful seal. And also over here, there's some guys with fishing rods and they're throwing in fish into here. I think they're trying to attract the seals here also. It's such a beautiful harbour here. Um, so we stayed nearby overnight for camping. Well, there's another seal. <laughs> he just popped underneath the water. Um, and it's a working harbour. So it's Saturday and there's quite a lot of action going on. You can see just down here is the lifeboats. They were busy yesterday answering the call of a yacht, um, which I think it's it looked like its engine had failed. Oh, here's a super cool boat. It's like a drone boat. So I don't, I, I saw it earlier, there's too small for someone to go on it, but it has like a camera on the top and it's a little uh, catamaran, so it has two hulls. Um, it looks like it has a little sideway thruster, so there's like a, um, a radar on it. Um, I suspect it's got some, yeah, it's got some equipment underground probably for sonar, etc. And the boat itself is from xocean.com and it's uh, registered in Belfast. So that's just being loaded into the water. I think that's really cool to, to watch and see. Let's see if we can catch the seals here. Wow, look. So cool. Often they'll come in and follow the, uh, the fishing boats. And it was just that seal was just what looking over and saying hello. Um, see, it's funny, It's I think it's coming up on 11 a.m. and my wife and son are still sleeping. I had a good sleep in. Oh, the seagulls are fighting um, the seals for food. But yeah, I had a great sleep until about 8.30. As always, I, I just woke up at 5 a.m. And, and slept. Um, so I woke up at 5 a.m. and meditated. And then I just went back to, to sleep. And I slept on to about 8.30 and had a quick wash. And after doing some editing and uh, sharing my, um, my Star Wars meditations, <laughs> it was so much fun doing those, especially the Yoda one. Mm, force be with you, it will. Um, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. I don't know if I should show my face, I feel a little bit compelled to. Uh, but I have always have like big puffy eyes. I think this is this is either a cormorant or a shag. This bird down here, and this beautiful, um, like oily black birds, seabirds, and I think you usually find them um, well in the sea, but usually where it's like more offshore. So you see less of them inland. Let's see if there's anything else going on. Just give you a quick tour. So yeah, all the boats in the surveying boat. It's very cool. It's funny. It doesn't look super seaworthy, but um, it must be. And maybe they just tow it around, or they just they like escort it around. I don't know. Well, it has like that. I think that little white um, thing on the top is a. A Starlink, certainly a satellite link. So that's really cool. Anyway, let's have a little tour around. Patch is enjoying uh, floating in the breeze. This is really funny to watch. Is he going to still still do it? So I'm sat next to him. Patch does that like never-ending story pose where he's flowing in the breeze. I think he loves the smell. It's like he doesn't need to go anywhere and he can smell it all. And there's also just down here some... Are these crab claws? They're really small. Or maybe like baby lobsters. I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of fish and a lot of beautiful um, food here. We had some uh, crayfish from the local fishmonger. They're absolutely beautiful. And yeah, most of us caught down here. Oh, and out there's a rowing boat slowly coming in. We'll maybe catch it as we walk. Okay, let's explore a little bit. Shall I do a quick flip around? Does this work? 
<laughs> Hello. Here's my puffy camping face. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fun. I love taking you down here. Um, these are places that we love visiting a lot, and it's amazing to come here for the vibe. Here's the lobster pots. So, as I understand it, what happens is you basically put some fish bait um, into the trap. And this is somewhere, I think it's basically in each one of these. So the lobster would go, goes into here and then um, it climbs inside and it can't get back out. I'm not really sure how it closes and traps it, but it does and it works. So they just put these down at the, the seabed and rocks and then um, once you've done that, come back and collect the, the lobsters and they're, they're very much alive. And I think they keep them alive throughout the um, throughout their journey to like a restaurant, and then they'll be cooked, often cooked alive, grimly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's lovely to see industry still going and 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 uh, if anything thriving here. Well, this is the Guns Green uh, Museum, and it's really cool. Let me see if I can get you a little picture. It's a house of secrets, and I think what it relates to is a lot of the smuggling pirates maybe um cosmic threader if you're if you're watching um i always need to watch patch doesn't wee on the net um but yeah it's an incredible place a few years ago they renovated this i think since covid they'd, they'd shut it down but it's it's really cool yeah discover the smuggler's trail so i do know i used to many years ago come and play um music down here and we'd come down every like second Saturday night and we'd play as a band and I, I don't know if you can see it but there's, if I can get the right building, I think this is the one that we're looking at here um, this was the pub that we played in and just below it so the, it has a basement that goes down below, I wish I could point, maybe I can it goes down below the, the, the ground and it goes, the basements go under the like the top of the harbour wall and so there's like in here somewhere there's a door um, that allows you I mean I think it's sealed now but there's a doorway that allows you to go in at low tide so what happened is the ship would pull up alongside here and then they'd smuggle stuff through the harbour wall and then up into, into the um, into what is now a pub uh, and well, hotel restaurant so that is so cool come on Patch let's go um, I mean, smuggling was big business, right? And it wasn't just here, it was all around the, the East Coast, maybe even all around the UK. Um, let's get a nice look at the, the, li the lifeboat. This is a Shannon class lifeboat. I know that because I read it. And um, it's really cool. They're self-writing. They have these, as I've seen them, um, they have these giant uh, like airbags that basically pop out at the the sides and top and they flip it back up if it rolls over so they're so they're kind of like submarines um and this is for offshore so in inshore you just have the little um inflatables and this one's much bigger and they cost millions i remember the one in dunbar was wrecked in a storm and uh as i remember the it's a charity the the rnli um the royal national lifeboat institute i think it stands for and so, yeah, they did a lot, um, a lot of fundraising for a new lifeboat. Um, but it's just incredible, like, these guys go out and risk their lives as part of this charity to, to save you. And when, when we witnessed that one yesterday, that, that yacht struggling to get in, they managed to sail quite close to harbour, dropped its anchor, and then struggled to get the anchor to stay still. You know, it was just dragging across the ground. So I think they called, certainly we saw the Coast Guard and um, maybe the lifeboat uh, came out just after that. I suspect they did. And just before I end at the 10 minute mark, because um, it allows me to post it on uh, all the social medias, <laughs> uh, here's Tranquility. There is a big fishing boat for you. So these are the bigger ones down here. Um, so they must be able to go... Uh, off around the North Sea, maybe even over to the Atlantic. They're big boats. Anyway, sending love from Scotland.